Hello and welcome to another lecture on signals and systems. Today we'll be talking about the types of signals. Signals can be broadly classified into two main categories. The continuous time signals and the discrete time signals. So continuous time means that the independent variable independent variable is continuous that is it is defined at every value on the other hand discrete time means that the independent variable is discrete that is it is defined only at discrete instances for instance if i have a signal like this which goes down exponentially with time and let's say this is the discharge of a capacitor in a circuit then at any value that i take of the independent variable, which is time in this case, I get a corresponding value of the dependent variable. A continuous time signals are usually fine with round brackets. On the other hand, discrete time signals are ones which are defined only at discrete instances. Let's say I can have a signal like this, like this, like this. So if I call the independent variable here n, so this signal is defined at n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n, n equal to 3. And at all other values of n, the signal vanishes. So this is an example of a discrete time signal. So this amplitude here could be V1, this could be V2, this could be V3. So that's why discrete time signals are also sometimes referred to as sequences because the independent variable n is defined only at integer values. So n is usually an integer. So let's look at some examples of continuous time signals and discrete time signals. So here is an example of a continuous time signal. So acoustic pressure versus time. So when I am editing these lessons in DaVinci Resolve, I work with an audio file like this. So this variation that you see is acoustic pressure versus time. So we, the human vocal system makes our speech intelligible by having these variations of acoustic pressure over time. So this signal that you see here is the usual introduction of my lecture. Hello and welcome to another lecture on signals and system. This leads to a variation of acoustic pressure versus time like this, which is then converted into an audio signal by a loudspeaker. Now let's look at an example of a discrete time signal. So this is a signal showing the Dow Jones average over the last 30 years which is an indicator of the market performance. So you can see that there was the dot-com bubble in 2001, then the great crisis in 2008, and we had almost 11 years of bull run, then the corona crisis 2020, and right now we are in the midst of a beer market. So this signal is discrete 
is, is a discrete signal because it is defined at discrete instances which are the years in this case it is defined at 1995 it's defined at 1999 2000 and so on this is a signal which is inherently discrete however in signals and systems we often come across a third class where the underlying phenomena is continuous in nature but then by sampling this signal we convert this signal into a discrete time signal most of the naturally occurring phenomena is continuous in time for example the flow of a river is continuous my heartbeat signal is continuous in time but for efficient implementation in digital signal processors we want the signal to be a discrete sequence for example a digital autopilot it can work on discrete sequences of the aircraft velocity and position so the signal is actually sampled and converted into a discrete time sequence which then can be implemented in a digital signal processor so we will go over sampling in detail in a next lecture right now i just wanted to give a broad classification of the type of signals that we will encounter in this lecture series continuous time signals and discrete time signals which are more often than not sampled versions of the continuous time signal see you in the next lecture